Oh, yes, hello. Surely you'll remember me. The power-mad and vainglorious Gideon. Once upon a time, I pretended to the throne of the gods. Well, I suppose I got my wish. My undying soul is bound to this cranial prison for all eternity. No thanks to Caleb and his chosen ones. Anyway, there's no sense being bitter about it. I imagine one day I'll serve as a muse to some unfortunate playwright who wanders this way. Until then, gentle player, I'll amuse you with this little anecdote. After defeating the Ancient One, the Chosen had a long walk home through the other world. They were able to handle the odd demon or two that came their way, but what they were not ready for was the powerful psychic terror that stalked the wastes. The Nightmare. Fools that they were, the Chosen practically invited a visit from this devil when they decided to tell scary stories during one of their repasts. Little did they know, but each one of them was about to be transported to their personal hells. Observe and be entertained, dear player. So there I was, stranded in the icy wastes, low on ammo and had a rod gun, <laughs> and hunted by cabal patrols. They'd hardly see through all the snow. But up ahead, I thought I saw a light. Greenish, kind of haunting. Yeah, my kind of digs, I remember thinking. Well, so I trudged on up and... Whoa! Feeling funky here, guys? He always was terrible at telling stories. Uh, would you please pass the weenies? What is this? Some kind of freaky time war passage trip? Another reason for making 
What's your scariest story? Chip on nail reloading once? Very funny. Actually, I have to let you two in on a little secret to tell this story. Don't tell Caleb, though. He'd never forgive me. You see, a very long time ago, before I had any aspirations of world domination, I was but a boppy little sorority girl. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I know it. Sounds bloody unlikely. It's true, though, my dark little secret. It's how I met the Cabal. One day they sent a horde of their zombies to take over the campus. I understand there was some kind of genius student there who had invented a reanimation serum, but I doubt it. As zombies are prone to do that, they gravitated toward the largest concentration of defenseless and scantily clad women, my sorority house. I figure I'd had enough of the perky life anyway. So instead of saving my sisters, I decided to ditch the bleach blonde look and hook up with these cabal guys. The problem was, there was no way they'd let me in if they knew I belonged to a sorority. The zombies would take care of the girls, but the photo albums were still in the house. I had to get in there and destroy them. I've got to destroy those photo albums. The only thing that warms my heart.
Locked. Too much for you, I see. much longer. Damage this flesh sack all you want. It will not stop me.
pay dearly for that. I'm too good for you. For you, I see. Locked. 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 It. My past is erased, and I can join the Cabal. What the... Ophelia, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing in my story? Where am I? Uh, some kind of frat house. Oh, wait. No, it can't be. <laughs> um, uh, you're having a bad dream, Caleb, dear. Just a nightmare. I don't think so, sister. Oh no, it's happening again. Well, I suppose it is my turn, yes? My, my. Like Ophelia, I have a secret. Doubtlessly, you two have heard of Jojo, the idiot circus boy. Of course. <laughs> when I was a child, my papa would take me to the freak show every year. And every year I would see Giorgio. I used to throw little clumps of dirt at him. Ahem, yes. Well, I remember that. You see, I was Giorgio. Unemployment did not cover evil cultists in those days, and the only place an out-of-work tattooed man could find work was the circus. So, for a time, I became Giorgio. The previous Jojo passed on the revered mantle of Jojo-ness to me, and it was with proud grace that I strutted out onto the stage on my first day. Then, bastard little dirt throwers like yourself taught me what it really was to be a freak. After a year of that, I was a prisoner to my own low self-esteem. 
One day, though, it all changed. Chernobog spoke to me and did bid me to free myself of this mortal mockery. And so I did. But it was not easy. Ishmael, listen. Jojo hears, Master. You are Jojo no longer. Go, kill these mortals and come to my side. We have much work to do. What was it? Jojo hears and obeys, Master. of the day, I presume. Locked. Locked. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am no longer amused. Ah. Not yet. There is most definitely no love in this tunnel. everything.
guaranteed yourself a painful death. My, looks as if he had to split. <laughs> distractions. That wasn't so bad. I wonder if I'll ever miss the smell of my own dung mingled with hay. Freaking time warps. I'm getting sick of this. 
Oh, hello there. Have you any bananas by chance? What? Jojo? Quite. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, can you do that tightrope act for me real quick? I always love that one. Uh-oh. Gabby, it's down to you. What's your story? One time I had to stay in a spooky mansion overnight. And? And that's it. It was scary. No deep secret to reveal. No pony plot to expose. No, I must say, I feel quite cheated. Want me to tell this story or not? As far as I can tell, you've already told it. It's much scarier if I go over the details. You might as well. We still have half a bag of marshmallows to go through at any rate. Good. Now shut up, both of you. So, there I am, at this old rotted mansion, deep in the southern bayou near where I grew up. It's a cloudy night, and the air is filled with fog and swamp gas. Now you're cooking. Looks like I'm spending the night here. I might as well look around and try to find a bedroom.
That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if I'll survive much longer. Here we go. Now, for a good night's rest. 
for the love of... You! Hey there, Gabriel. Gabriella. Whatever. Well, I sense a pattern here. Question is, where will I be whisked off to next? I'm all out of chosen to visit. Beats me. Just get on with it. I'm tired. Okay, see ya. Church? Oh, this really is a nightmare.
somehow.
And so our story comes to an end. Caleb is victorious yet again. It seems nothing can stop him. At times it is almost as if the unseen hand of some otherworldly being is guiding his actions. But it is best to dwell on such things. For now I will content myself with observation. The Chosen have many adventures ahead of them. Stories to tell, battles to fight, and empires to forge. Perhaps one day, I will find a way to make my return. And on that day, I assure you, Caleb will burn. <laughs> um, excuse me, but who took the last marshmallow? Ishmael? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you both if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs>